Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this poly gel manicure using the new double dip poly gel and I'll be sharing my tips and tricks on how to get this beautiful manicure. So you're going to want to start with your clean and prep natural nails and cleanse them with an alcohol wipe and this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and make sure that we get a super strong adhesion. You also want to go ahead and push back your cuticles as well as buff the surface of the nail for a longer lasting mani. Now I'm going to be unpackaging my dual forms and I'm going to size them to my nail and my biggest tip is to make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall comfortably and you would rather have the form be slightly bigger than too small. And here are the sizes that I chose for me personally. And then I'm going to go in with the gel base coat and apply a thin even layer of this to all of my nails to help with adhesion and make sure the poly gel has something to grip onto. So after this layer is applied, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED UV nail lamp. Now I'm going to be using my brush and picker tool. So one end is this really nice brush and the other is a spatula to scoop out the poly gel. This video features the color neutral as well as the slip solution. So I'm going to pour out some of the liquid into the cap and then squeeze out a small amount of the poly gel from the tube. And then I'm going to grab the dual form that corresponds with the nail I'm working on, dip my brush into the slip solution and tap off any excess on a towel or lint-free wipe, and then gently pat the product in place. You want to make sure that you aren't pushing too hard, this is a very gentle process, and you want the poly gel to be thinner towards the cuticle area and tip, and thicker in the middle of the nail where the apex will be formed. So you want to take your time forming out the product in the dual form, because that will overall help the adhesion and application on the nail. Then I'm going to press down starting at the cuticle area, and flip my nail over and smooth out the underside to get a nice smooth and even tip. Then I cured for a full 30 seconds in my LED UV lamp and I'm going to pop off the form to reveal the beautiful structure. And now I'm repeating this process on the rest of my nails. This is a very quick and easy thing to do, especially once you get the hang of it after doing a couple of nails. Like I said, the biggest things to take into consideration are where the bulk of your product is in the form and also how you apply it to the nail. So I find that pushing down starting at the cuticle area and moving towards the tip gets a really great even application and pushes out any air bubbles that might get trapped. You also do want to make sure you smooth out the underside of the nail, otherwise you could take an electric file and smooth out the underside after curing. And I'm going to pop off the form one more time, and I'm going to continue doing these steps on the rest of my nails. And once all of the nails are fully cured, I'm taking a lint-free wipe dipped in some rubbing alcohol to cleanse the tacky layer off of the underside of my nails. Then I'm taking the file and first perfecting my free edge shape, and in this video I went for a almond, so I'm going to taper in the sides and round out the free edge. 
A tip I have for filing is to go slow and check every so often because polygel is super easy to file and you don't want to take off more than you were expecting. So go slow and take off little by little so you get the perfect shape without over filing. When you are finished filing the free edge, you want to file the surface of the nails to make sure that the gel top coat can adhere and also smooth out any imperfections. So specifically here you want to go around the cuticle area and make it flush with the natural nail, thin down the tip and round out the apex. After filing, you're going to want to cleanse off any dust, and I would also recommend washing your hands to remove any of the excess product on the skin and nails. Then I'm going to seal in the polygel nails using the gel top coat, and this is going to add a beautiful shine and make the nails last as long as possible and stay durable. So you're going to apply a nice thin layer and cure for 30 seconds in an LED UV lamp to fully harden the top coat. An additional recommended step is to apply some cuticle oil, and that is the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to complete a polygel manicure using the new Double Dip product. Mm -hmm.